shaking my head. G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is Queen Tested, a video series in Fallout 76 where I take the best weapons in the game and attempt to solo the Scorched Beast Queen with them. And if you're looking for an exceptionally cruisy run of Scorched Earth, then look no further than this video. It was piss easy, mate. Anyways, so today's weapon is going to be a Vampire's Prime Fire Rate Less Vats Cost Minigun, which is pretty insane. In terms of survivability, I think it is um, second to none, except for a maybe a Gatling laser using a uh, power user perk to increase a magazine size to a thousand with the same legendary effects on the Gatling laser, obviously. But you can't do too much wrong with a Vampire's Fire Rate Minigun, especially with the Prime receiver going up against the Scorch Beast. So we're getting 95 damage out of that, and that is through Nerd Rage as well and all of the necessary damage perks. So getting to the build, I've actually tuned a couple of things this time. So obviously we've got the Heavy Gunner set up as usual, but instead of Bullet Shield, I've got Blocker because when the Queen dabs on you, it's counted as like a melee attack. Makes sense, sure. And um, yeah, that'll reduce that by 45%. And in addition to that, I've also got um, on top of that, my power armor, which I'll get to in a second, but that'll help us re reduce damage more. Fireproof 2 is broken. It makes the Scorch Beast screams do nothing for some reason, so that's a no-brainer. Um, Nerd Rage is there because we're in Nerd Rage Threshold, and you why is that? Is because I get 50% more damage out of um, Adrenal Reaction. Thanks, Angry Turtle, for letting me know that. I don't actually look at the numbers. I just look at the damage thing, and yep, that's good. But yeah. 50% uh, more thanks to Adrenal Reaction and then Nerd Rage on top of that, giving us a nice damage, almost 100. I've also got Stabilized, although I may not have that equipped during the fight, but uh, you didn't hear that from me. And I've also got Enforcer, we're going to be using a shotgun to cripple the Queen, because I've found that her limbs kind of stay crippled, and honestly, nothing is better than crippling limbs with a, with a shotgun with Enforcer, especially if it's, if it's explosive. So, crippling all of her limbs, forcing her to ground will make it easy to mag dump her face over and over. Also, got one army, one gun army for doing that if she wants to, you know, mess around and do that again. But honestly, Enforcer is all I need. Dodge is there to just to avoid a little bit of damage if need be. We've got a bunch of damage avoidance perks. That's probably overkill. Probably could have done with something else, but yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of, um, insurance policy i guess and of course bloody mess is there giving me more damage now importantly the power armor here it's all um hellfire it, it looks cool but it's actually um shangla heart so i've got all of those pieces ready to go giving me slight damage over time which is acid damage it's listed as acid damage but i think it's um resistance or whatever it is it, poison resistance goes makes it do less damage so you know I expect the Scorch Beast Queen to have some sort of um, poison resistance on her, so we might not get the best damage over time per shot, but once it stacks up and the computer gets laggy, then we know we can do some good damage over time. And the emergency protocols for extra damage um, reduction. I've just got a jetpack on my arm somewhere, so I can have both a jetpack and emergency protocols at the time. Again, complain to Bethesda. Let's just shoot the Queen, eh? Alrighty, so we're about 30 or so seconds from the Queen touching down, or the nuke touching down and waking up the Queen. I'm pretty sure the law says that the nuke goes off inside the thing and kill a bunch of little baby Scorch Beasts, but then the Queen comes out and says, What's all this then? Like Codsworth, and then comes out to kill ya. So there's some monster things happening over here. There's, there's a Mylurk Queen. Um, I might just finish all of these bastards off with this so I can do it nice and quick. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the vampire's minigun later. Just ignore this. I've already done a queen test on this thing. Keep that Scorch Beast around. Okay, queen's out. Time to, time to put the real weapon on. Yeah, I don't think that damage over time is going to do much. So just to get an idea of the power of this thing. Not terrible damage. Yeah. You're not going to hit me, Queen. You're not going to do very well. So basically, what I want to do is cripple everything. I've got a shotgun just for that. So let me just walk on over there. And just start peppering her with shotgun shells. And we'll see what we can do. Really? Uh, whatever. They probably won't be a problem. Yeah, I'll just kill them with stray damage over time, shall I? Yeah, that'll do it. Anyways, the Queen's touched down. I'm just going to hit her some more. If that hasn't crippled everything by now, I'm going to be very surprised. Would you believe that death from above has been completed? Now I'm going to shoot her in the face. Over and over again. Yeah, you do the dance. See how that works for you, Queenie. Excuse me. Coming through. I can't see anything except for damage numbers. 
Yeah, I've got blocker too. That ain't gonna do shit, girly. So I'm thinking this will just take a shit ton of rounds to have to finish. There's a, I've contracted flap limb. Now I'm over capacity. Well, that's unfortunate. What is attacking me? That, okay, there's so many things. Wow. I could just ignore all of these guys. Get out of get out of here. Stop it. Get out. I'm done with yous. Alright, that's gotta be full adrenaline by now. Ha, <laughs> they're all scorched because the queen poked at them. Ha! <laughs> oh, hang on, there's some. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by rad roaches. You know what? I feel like I've got bigger problems than rad roaches. So, yeah, despite her constantly staggering me, she can't actually interrupt the firing of my weapon, so I can just sit here and do this all day. It's up to the computer whether it wants to sit here and let all this strangler heart do its business. The constant shots that I'm getting on it seem to be wearing down her health. She'll hit mutation station in a second. There she goes. She'll get back up in a second. And then we repeat. Well, there's a death claw too. Apparently they got buffed. So that's pretty good. Oh, okay. I can kill the rad roaches with armor damage over time. <laughs> Poor little bastards. Okay, so she's gone ahead and landed once again, just to make sure that she doesn't get back up. Is that a Wendigo? That might have been a Wendigo. Oh, I forgot I was over capacity. That's that's annoying. I should that I probably should have packed the disease cure for this. That's just poor planning on my part. Anyways, let's get back to healing. Don't play in third person. The staggering will actually interrupt your shots. There you are, Queenie. Pleased to make your acquaintance once more. Now, if you to just stand there and take all of these bullets, I'm, you'll have a good time. I'm playing one hand right now. You know, scroll through Facebook while I'm doing this. I don't think I'll have too many problems. Oh, I can read some YouTube comments. We'll do some live responding. Yeah, we're all very intimidated, Queen. Keep doing your thing. Come on, girly. Oh, she's, she stopped, I think. Okay. She stalled. The battle is won. The battle is mine. Yeah, you stay. Oh, hang on. I need some adrenaline damage. There we go. That's slightly more. What else is in front of me? Ah, whatever. We'll just keep on shooting. There's a quick reload. Oh, I think I see a grasshopper. Oh, no, a cricket. Yeah, it's a cricket. Kill that thing. A couple of other gun zombies over here. Wow, I've turned Fallout 76 into a turret section. Now, whether that's an improvement to the gameplay loop is up to you, but... Let's see, so I posted a video about, um, the, the, what's it called, the, the bloodied fire rate alien blaster that I got. Hope the guy who gave it to me doesn't feel too screwed over, but I'm getting a lot of comments. That was a good shit post. I'm thinking of just doing more shit posts, because that may seem to garner a little bit of attention. Keep holding down the trigger. There's the rat, little bastard. Alright, that should be full adrenaline. Yep, 21 damage. Oh, she's actually up and at him again. I hear a Snelly Gaster. That can go away. You can go away. And she's down again. Yeah, she doesn't she doesn't last very long when she's got her limbs crippled like that. Just a quick reload and do this. And just keep on mag dumping her. This is a way of basically padding my accuracy stat. My accuracy's gotta be over 90% at this point, even though I've kind of messed around. It's so dense, every single shot has so many things going on. This is the best. This is Fallout 76 at its finest when there's so much poison effect damage over time that you can't fucking see what you're doing. Alright. A little bit late on the old um, reloading and firing again, but we're done here, so I'm just gonna back off a little bit and see what's left. There's a, there's a monster over there couple of things in front of me. Yeah. Could have done that with an explosive one, to be honest. I reckon I couldn't I couldn't have killed myself with all the explosives in the world when doing that. So, yeah, that black I expected that was just a fucking piece of piss. Excuse me, I can't see what's going on. Ooh, damage over time almost killed me. Ha! <laughs> I almost got killed by a Stingwing, but the Scorch Beast Queen, no. Granted, the Stingwing's a little bit harder to hit. She's a big girl. So anyways, there you have it. A vampire's fast fire rate minigun. The gun that can basically kill everything. What a what a terrible drop. Fuck you, Barbara. Thank you for watching, guys. I don't need to elaborate on this. You, you already seen what happened. Oh wow, look what the crabby dude dropped me.